Hello, welcome back to day two of Just Be Yoga Challenge. Today is Just Be Released and Let Go. So today is all about letting go any unneeded emotions, tension in our body, um, and just getting rid of it. We don't want that negative energy and negative emotions ruining um, your day. The oil that I am using today is peppermint. And it's just a beautiful one to pop on any sore muscles. I love to put on my neck and shoulders and just to help release them and cool and soothe them. So feel free to do that or skip that. Up to you. Let's jump on our mat. So today for a practice you'll need a yoga block. And I'm just going to pop on my peppermint oil. So first I just love to breathe it in from the bottle. And I'm going to pop a few drops on my shoulders and my neck as I find that they are where I tend to hold all my stress. And also our hips, which is what we're focusing on today. Because this is our release and let go class, there's going to be a lot of folds and um, poses to help open up our hips. Often when we're stressed or worried or angry, we tend to like, um, crunch up and hold it in our shoulders and neck and our hips and so um, that is where we're targeting today to help let go let go of all of that energy and stress and just release <laughs> so we're first going to start in a yogi squat with a block to support us so just popping the block there Coming into a squat, we're not sitting on the block. It is just there to give us just that little bit of support. If you can't be flat-footed in the yogi squat, you can be up on the balls of your feet and you can pop a towel or another yoga mat underneath um, and you might need to go on to the next level of the block. So hands at our heart. We're just using our elbows to push our knees out to the side, but we're also um, using our buttock muscles as they help to open up our hips. So not sinking down onto the block, trying to sit up just a little bit. Our navel is drawing into our spine. Spine's nice and long. And we're just starting here, tuning into our breath, opening our hips, just starting to let go. So just picturing all of the tension in your hips, releasing and letting go. It's really important to check in with our body and to make sure that we're doing stretches that help us to release and let go of our tight muscles um, regularly because otherwise it just builds up and builds up and can get so painful. I know that if I don't stretch my shoulders and just really check in with what is what is weighing me down, my neck and my shoulders can get so painful and um I just don't realise that it's from all the stress that I some of the time putting on myself. And so with this yoga challenge, the just be, we're taking time to just be, to check in with our body, see what it needs, see what it's trying to tell us. So maybe your body is 
telling you that you need to slow down, take time to let go, release that pressure from yourself. Maybe it's pressure that you're putting on your own. Maybe it's pressure from someone else, pressure from work. This is a beautiful time to let it go. Okay, then we're going to open our eyes. We're going to power down through our feet, especially the heels. So you wiggle the toes, powering down through the heels. And we're going to stand all the way up. (sighs) Just moving the block off the mat. And now, this is going to seem a bit funny, but I just love doing it. (laughs) We're just going to shake. Shake it all out. Shake out any emotion, any tension. If you want, you can do a little shaky dance. But we're just getting rid of that negative feeling, the negative thoughts, the tension we're holding in our body. It's okay to feel and be a little silly sometimes. And so this might just be what you're needing today to shake it out. Okay, coming to the top of our mat with our feet hip width apart, coming into our folds. So we're going to inhale our arms up, palms come together, exhale, we're folding from our hips, okay? You can have a bend in your knees here, that is fine, but we really want to make sure that we're folding from our hips and that our torso is resting on our thighs. So you can bend as much as you want, as long as we have that nice long spine. And it's probably um, best, even if you can do a straight fold with straight legs, to have a little bend in your knees as this is the first one of the day but also we just want to stay here for a little while so I really want you to just focus on dropping your head down feeling it grow heavy feeling your spine grow longer and longer Extending to the floor, you might like to take a hold of your opposite elbows as well, just to help you let go even more. Or you can stay on your fingertips, just nodding your head, yes, shaking no, letting it relax and hang. In my forward folds, I love to just picture just whatever I'm feeling, my anger, hurt, frustration, worry, stress, whatever it might be. I love just picturing it roll off my spine and drop down onto the floor. You might like to straighten one leg. Keep the other one bent. Just bring whatever movement feels good for you into this forward fold. I let go of what I can't control. I like to say these words to yourself. I let go of what I can't control. So often we put so much energy energy and stress and worry about things that we have no control over. And I am guilty of that. (laughs) And so pretty much every day I have to remind myself, let go of what I can't control. It's no use worrying and stressing about things I can't control. It only puts me 
in a bad mood. So let us focus on what we can control. And coming onto your fingertips, inhaling up for a half bend, then exhale down again. Lifting your feet up, we're going to slide one hand under, so toes pointing to the heels, other um, hand under, so your palms are touching the bottom of your feet. <laughs> I'm going to inhale, lengthen again, exhale, bend your elbows, <sighs> help you fold down. Again, you can have a bend in your knees here if it's feeling a bit too intense on your hips, but we're just letting go. Your head hangs. And slowly release. Again, inhale to your fingertips. We're going to plant our hands and step back to downward facing dog. Straighten my mat. So your feet are hip width apart. Your spine's nice and long, your navel and ribs are drawing in. Those shoulders um, are broadening and drawing down towards your hips. Your pointer finger or index finger are pointing forwards and the weight is into your fingertips or your finger knuckles. Arms by your ears. We're just going to step those two feet together. And then we inhale, lift the right leg up for three-legged dog. Hips are square. Bending your right leg. We're going to take some hip circles here. So really opening up, bringing movement into our hips. I like to go the other way. And extending back up to your three-legged dog. Coming up onto your left toes. Draw the right knee right up into your chest. Lifting out of your shoulders. Your right knee is going to come to your right elbow. And then your toes are coming just behind your left hand. And lowering the outer calf down into pigeon pose. If this is too hard for you, again, this is where your block comes in. Pop it underneath that right hip. Or you can pop a blanket underneath. Whatever is best for you. So here we really want to make sure that our toes are flexed. We're aiming to have our front leg parallel to the top of our mat. But if that is too intense, bring that right heel towards your left hip. Just checking that that left leg's nice and long and straight. And you might like to just stay here. Really using your breath to let go of all of that tension in your hip. If you want to go a bit deeper, you can walk those fingertips out, coming down onto your arms for sleeping pigeon. Resting your forehead on the ground or on your hands. And just making sure that you're not holding your breath. We want that beautiful cycle breathing in through our nose. And out through our nose. coming back up onto your fingertips we're going to lean onto that right hip and leg and then swing the left leg around extending both legs out in front of us having a bit of a bend and our feet are about hip width apart we're going to inhale up and again another fold Folding down, just letting your torso rest 
against those thighs. So you can have it a bit wider if you want. If you have <laughs> um, bits of your body that just are in the way, you can make your legs wider. Or if you want, you can bring them closer together. And if you want a bit more of a stretch, you can just slowly slide those heels away from you. But I just really want you to be focusing on keeping that torso on your thighs and also having that nice long spine. So you might like to inhale, lengthen it, exhale, folding down. Lifting your head up, walk your hands in. We're then going to lean onto the left hip, swing that right leg around, bending your left leg, setting up for pigeon on the other side. So again, if you can't get right down, pop that block underneath the left hip or a blanket. Checking, you might need to just readjust, checking that that back leg is nice and long. Your left toes are flexed to help protect your knee. Again, staying here. Or if you did it on the other side, lowering down into sleeping pigeon. Pigeon pose is one of my favorite poses to just release my hips and also my lower back. You might be feeling it in different places and we feel um, stretches in different places for each pose because our bodies are different and so it's really important to be remembering that. The way I do pigeon pose will look different to yours and that doesn't mean either way is wrong. Whatever it looks like for your body, that is perfect for how it is in that moment. Then lifting your head, walking those hands back. We're going to plant the hands out in front of us, fingers spread. Curling those back right toes. We're going to use our core, lifting our hips. And we're going to shoot the left leg up for a three-legged pose. You might like to just jump that right foot in a little bit so you can lower the heel down. And then we're going to take the circles on the left side. So just feeling where your body needs it. Swapping direction. Making sure that your core is on here. And lowering that left foot down. And just taking a moment in downward facing dog. We're going to come onto our tiptoes, bend our knees. Taking that right foot, the right ankle, we're going to put it onto our left calf. <laughs> Not that thigh. <sighs> kind of like a figure four in downward dog. You might like to lower the left heel if that feels good. And releasing the right leg down. Coming up onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, right ankle, sorry, left ankle to right thigh. What's going on today? Mm. 
Bring your right heel down. Really drawing um, your right kneecap up so that it engages your thigh. And releasing here. You might like to paddle out. Coming up onto your tiptoes, bend your knees. We're going to walk our feet up to our hands and coming down on our buttocks into our final hip stretch, butterfly pose. So the soles of your feet are together, sitting up nice and straight. The further your heels are away from your body, the easier the stretch, the closer they are to your body the more intense. So again, like we did at the beginning in our yogi squat, we can use our um, buttocks here. If we're clenching them and engaging them, they help to open up our hips more. And you might like to stay here, or if you want, you can fold down. You can pop a block under your head if you like that. Whatever feels good for your body in this moment. Opening up your eyes, coming into a cross-legged position, resting your hands on your knees. Let go of what you can't control. Focus on what you can. I hope you have a lovely day and you're feeling much more released um, and ready to face whatever comes to you today. <laughs>